Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit, and here we have been given that this switch is in the open condition since a long time, and at time t is equal to zero, this switch is closed. So in that condition, we have been asked to find the current through this 4 ohm ohm resistor. Now before the time t is equal to zero, since a long time, this switch is in the open condition. That means in the steady state condition, this capacitor will act as the open circuit, while this inductor will act as a short circuit. So at time t is equal to zero minus, if we see the equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. So for the given circuit, let us find the value of the voltage across the capacitor as well as the current through the inductor. So in this condition, the voltage across the capacitor, that is Vc is zero minus, will be equal to 4 kilo ohm plus 1 kilo ohm divided by 5 kilo ohm plus 4 plus 1 kilo ohm times 10 volt. That means the voltage at this node will be equal to 5 volt. Similarly, this current IL zero minus will be equal to 10 volt divided by the summation of all these resistors. That is equal to 10 kilo ohm. That means at T is equal to zero minus, the current through the inductor will be equal to one milliampere. That means at time T is equal to zero minus, the voltage across the capacitor is five volt, while the current through the inductor is equal to one milliampere. And we know that the capacitor opposes the instantaneous change in the voltage, while the inductor opposes the instantaneous change in the current. That means V C zero minus. Is equal to Vc zero plus, and similarly, this Il zero minus will be equal to Il zero plus. That means even if this switch is closed at time t is equal to zero, then the voltage across the capacitor and the current through the inductor will remain same. And at time t is equal to zero plus, if we see the equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. That means at time t is equal to zero plus, this capacitor. Will act as a voltage source of 5 volt, while this inductor will act as a current source of 1 milliampere. So here we need to find the current through this 4 ohm resistor, and for that we can apply the KVL in this particular loop. That means this current I is equal to 5 volt divided by 4 ohm. That is equal to 1.25 milliampere. So we can say that at time t is equal to 0 plus. The current through this 4 kilo ohm resistor is equal to 1.25 milliampere, and hence, for the given question, B is the correct answer.